Okay, we're going to learn how to go from this board. I mean, this is very exciting and all, but um, we're going to figure out how to go from that to uh, something a little more fun. Okay, throw a little animation in there, change your background picture, etc. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how. So now that I've done my fancy introduction, I'm going to change that back to stock. Boom, now it's stock. Control F5. Oh my god. Just kidding. It's fine. Um, okay. What? Control F5. Okay. Now we're back to boring. Hooray. Um, so here's how we're, here's how we're going to do this. Okay. Um, if you know how to use CSS, let me just let me just tell you right now. Y you want to you want to be inside of you want to be inside of like WinSCP. You want to navigate to your VCSA after you've credentialed in and you want to go to user lib VMware you can read all this all this stuff right here okay and I'll have it in the link uh, in the description or whatever um, and there's your CSS okay this is where the CSS lives the one you're going to be modifying is clr-ui-min.css okay none of these are packed up into a .war file or zip files or anything like that so it's just edit save boom it's live uh, so very nice thank you also thank you for not making this read only like some of your other stuff but anyway um, so yeah that's where you'll go for those of you that know how to use CSS already and just want to get in and dork around and couldn't didn't know where it was um, pictures okay pictures are gonna be just a folder back okay resources image I mean look at this thing BG static I wonder if I've already edited this let's see open I have edited it, but it doesn't make any difference. This is this may have been like what they used to reference, but this background image isn't even an image. Okay, so everyone that is everyone that is CSS learned, I'm I'm about to slow way down here. Okay, so go have fun, do your thing. There's where the files are. Uh, for the rest of us, let's hit F12. Okay, and this is in Google Chrome. Um, I believe it does the same thing in in some other browsers like the Edge version of Chrome or the Chrome version of Edge, excuse me, uh, etc. So this looks scary. Don't be scared. It's fine. Okay. Uh, we're gonna. This is the most important button on this whole page. Okay. Is this arrow with a square? Okay. That says, oh, hey dummy, you don't know how to read code? Great. Let, let, just go highlight something, and I'll show you where it is, and then and then we can go make some modifications. Thanks thing okay so you see how it's highlighting the whole blasted page when I try to highlight this background picture it's because it's not a picture at all VMware in their infinite wisdom thought it would be super cool to draw this background image as a math equation okay so the background URL is data colon image SVG so it's gonna create an SVG file out of a pile of XML how exciting, how neat, how nerdy. Why would you do that? So let's just delete it. Goodbye. Yay. I hit delete on that uh, background item, and then I and then I hit enter. Okay, this isn't permanent. Chrome is just showing, you know, um, things that are live on the page. If I were to hit refresh, everything goes back to normal. Okay, poof. Uh, so instead, you don't know how, you don't have to know how to do any of this stuff. You can look up a couple things on Google. You can look up a gazillion things on Google. There's so many fun things you can do with CSS, but um, uh, we're just going to be very basic here. Okay, we're going to type in background and image and put a colon. And at this point, feel free to Google what the heck comes next because you can type in a lot of different things here. You can put in uh, colors and and whatever all this other stuff is. Uh, we're going to use we're going to use a URL. Okay, URL, and you got to put it in parentheses. And what are we going to put in parentheses? My goodness. Okay, so let's go to WinSCP. We're in our image folder. Go away. We're already in our image folder. Okay, go grab a nice image and plop it in here. Play around with what size you're going to make it. I, I made it the full, complete size in case I was full screened into vCenter like a madman. But anyway, um, and here's my image. Okay, um, you can't just slap in the URL as user lib VMware SSS ISO eventually eventually it kind of matches what the web address is supposed to be but here it is for everyone else okay 
um, your vCenter address is going to be right here, obviously, not mine. But um, you see that web SSO and then slash resources is right here. Web SSO is not even really in this address, okay? Um, but that's where it goes, web SSO. And then resources, okay? Here's, uh, oh, look, resources. Now we're kind of matching, right? IMG, IMG, and then your picture. Hooray, we found it. So, so we're going to grab all this slash IMG. I'm going to put it in here, but that's not the total, that's not the total name. I need the actual picture name too. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Copy. And paste. Enter. Big old problem. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I got rid of my URL parenthesis at the beginning. Enter. Bam. Okay, so URL parenthesis, your image address, and parenthesis, semicolon. Probably easier to do this in full screen, but I'm trying to reference some of these notes off to the side here. Um, <clears throat> check it out. You did it. You got a cool image on here. You can X out of this code thing right here. And um, when you push F12, it's going to come back. Okay. You can see that my image is um, like changing in size because based on the size of my uh, uh, available space here. Um, there's a lot of cool tricks you can use in CSS to make it not do that. You can you could you could set the size to be an exact amount. You could you know do a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to show you what I did at least for the picture because. If, for some of you, this may be as far as you go, and this is cool enough, and that's totally fine. Respect, because now you can show off everyone your cool picture. Um, plus, if you're in a production environment, what you've changed so far is is pretty it's pretty lame. I mean, not lame. I mean, it's pretty safe, if you will. You're still going to want to take a backup of that CSS just in case stuff blows up. But um, you've literally modified one line, right? Not a big deal. Um, okay. Let's see what I changed. So I'm going to look at this title up here, okay? Dot login wrapper. Let's look over here. Look, dot login wrapper. Uh oh, but it's got it's got more stuff on the end. We don't we don't want that one. That's literally talking about hey stuff that's on the login wrapper. Also, it points to dot login class. We don't want that. So let's 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 cruise down to find just dot login wrapper all by itself. Oh, there it is. Oh, by the way, this is just my notes, okay? This is just my notes of things that I changed in Chrome, and right before I committed them to the actual file, I just kind of pasted it into a notes thing so I knew what I had changed, okay? Um, okay, so look, I changed a couple things, like the size. I guess if you put background-size colon this and then a space, and then this means like, I don't know, automatically the certain amount of width and then 100% of the height. That could be totally wrong, by the way. It could be backwards. It also could mean something totally entirely different because I am not great with CSS. I'm just, you know, we're just poking stuff. So paste. Okay, do you keep getting bigger and smaller? Oh, how about that? Look at that. Now he's kind of staying a constant size. So that's nice. Keeps that... Uh, Keeps that from being, you know, going big and small. Plus, if you have like a family photo or something in here, you don't want everyone's top of their head to be visible uh, unless you're in full screen or something. So, so this is convenient. That's nice. Um, at this point, if you wanted to be done, you could probably be done. But um, for me, just in case my picture's not big enough, I made my background color the same color as like the very edge of this picture so that it uh, would nicely go into looking green. You don't have to do that. If your picture is of gigantic size and it's going to cover the screen always, then yeah, cool, great, do your thing. Um, is this already in here? Yeah, it is. No repeats already in there. Okay, so so the, yeah, look, you did a thing. Look how cool that is. Good job. Um, honestly, I'm probably just going to, I'm probably just going to, copy all of my code and then and then let you guys dork with it uh, to vary it uh, off of what I've already accomplished. Some of this stuff can be pretty intimidating. Um, not really. Just Google each line. It, you'll get an explanation for what each one is. But most importantly, click this arrow. Go and find the next thing you want to dork up, like this whole square. Click. Okay, and now it's highlighting the HTML that it was referring to, which is referring to this CSS code over here. And if you're wondering how I found the file name, it's right here in the top right corner. Check it out. 
CLR UI min. It's also how I found out that web SSO is in the address because it's point it's literally referencing it in the full address name right here. So that's nice. You you have the general idea. I'll show you, you know, background color, right? We can change this to be darker gray, dark mode, please, right? And then um and then you can change the color of the text by typing in the word color um color white oh okay so that only changed that um these other guys are going to be a different piece so let's grab our arrow let's point to him let's see if there's like a darker gray square sitting in here hey look there's one right there and let's bump that up to white check it out it, it lightened it up for us this vmware thing right let's grab our arrow let's go click on him and look color black no thanks white or if you want to make your eyes bleed red i don't know whatever so there's more white okay um that's all i'm doing that's all i'm doing i'm like i'm clicking this arrow and i'm like ah, i want to modify this boop and then and then you just start messing with this stuff now remember this isn't i like i said before this isn't permanent so what you're going to want to do is copy all this copy okay and then you're going to probably best idea to paste it into some temporary location first so that you know what you have done, okay? And then after you have it, you can open up the unminify. Oh, I didn't go over this. Um, so this is what the original looks like. Ew. It's one giant, long, freaking... Like, I kid you not. Look at my horizontal scroll bar at the bottom. That's it right there. It's still the beginning. It's huge. Okay, so click your mouse there. Hold down Shift. Push the letter not the letter, push the word end on your keyboard to get to the end, and then copy it. And then we're going to go to, to a website called Unminify, okay? You're going to paste your big nasty code. It's done pasting when you can see this horizontal bar at the bottom, okay? And then you're going to click Unminify. Hot dog. There's the readable CSS, okay? You can highlight all this, copy it, and, and then pop it back into here and now now it looks a little more readable in fact if you if you were to if you were to paste it in here without um here I'll, I'll create a new file and then um i'll show you what it looks like it's just white okay this isn't very readable either this is still kind of blech so you're going to want to go to uh view syntax css oh this is on sublime by the way uh text wrangler or notepad plus plus etc is going to have a very similar choice at the top where you can change the language or the syntax or whatever to CSS. Then it will color it for you so it's easier to read. Um, okay, so like I was saying, if we want to modify this, all we got to do is copy it, come back over here, uh, control F for finding stuff, and then paste it. Bam, there it is. So this is, this is going to look really familiar. It's going to look like what you saw in Google Chrome, okay? And it's also going to look exactly like what you copied, except with your additions over here. Okay, so um, paste what you've changed right on top of this stuff, and then hit save. Okay, and then you're going to come back over here to Win SCP, and you're going to grab your grab your original. Okay, and you're going to drag them on over to not the images. Look at that. That would have been bad, not right. Okay, CSS folder and paste right on top of him. You want to cover him up? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, oh, that was the Clarity login. There's, There it is. CLR UI min. Boom. Clarity login CSS is what contains your footer. And the only thing in the footer is, um, let me refresh this. The only thing in the footer is this guy down here, this download enhanced authentication plugin. I wasn't a fan of the giant black bar at the bottom that says, hey, download me now. Instead, I, I modified some stuff in the footer. Let's go see what I changed. Position is absolute. I left it in by, now look, I did pixel value here. Okay, so um, here, let's hit F12 and see what happens. Okay, if you click on him down here, there's the, uh, footer, okay, A means like hyperlink, like if, if you, if it's a clickable thing, that's what you're modifying there. Um, maybe I need to click up one. There it is, footer, okay, footer. Click, here's dot footer right here. So, yeah, you can like, 
you can just change the values in Chrome and it will change it live on your screen. It's kind of fun. Um, bottom, how many pixels from the bottom I wanted it to be, uh, whether I wanted the font to be bolded, how much padding. That's probably not even relevant if I'm using left and bottom. But um, the color, okay, for the for the clickable whatever. If you don't want it to be, um, oh yeah, that's changing tons of things. Just kidding. Uh, padding left, okay. So how many? I don't know. I was look. I was just making stuff up. Half of this isn't even needed, but um, yeah, cool, cool stuff. Um, again, like the text for the password stuff, uh, you can find in here. I think it's this one. Okay, did we already talk about that? We probably already talked about that. But um, you can you could change that to be red. Ooh, blech, blue. Oh my gosh, it's even worse. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, whatever. Do whatever you want. Um, again, you can X this out, hit refresh, and it's going to, you know, go back to normal, whatever you have as actual code. Um, this picture right here is kind of tricky. You can see when I highlight this, how tall that box is. I basically, I wonder if it's in here. Let's go see what it's called. Cause I can't remember this giant box. Looks like it's. Login wrapper, login title. Okay, kind of looks like this. Okay, I, I made the line height really tall, um, and then I made the background an image on this thing. Okay, of the text square, but the text square is really big, and I shoved the image towards the top of that text square. Yeah, it's a little goofy, but you know what? When you're staring at it like this, who cares? It's it'll look sweet. Um, okay, that's all I got. Um, let me know what your creations look like. I'm so excited to see everyone's uh, modified login page. And uh, again, I, I mean, I, you know, I moved this column into the center. Uh, I'll, I'll paste all my code on like GitHub or something, and you can, you're welcome to just copy it straight out and then and then replace the images if you really want to. Um, and then, uh, yeah, again, this is vCenter uh, VCSA 7.0's login page.